Welcome to this painting tutorial. How's it going everyone? Welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to paint a Steel Legion Imperial Guard or Astra Militarum. This color scheme is very straightforward. It has very few colors and it's uh, relatively easy to paint. The part that concerned me is to get the color of the coat right. And I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, this is more reminiscent of the old color scheme for Steel Legion. If you like this video, you know what to do. Please like, comment and subscribe. That really helps my channel and I shall start. I'm going to start by priming the model in white. Uh, this is a good color because we're going for a very bright color scheme, especially on the robes. Uh, most other colors, just uh, very dark colors doesn't matter, but we want to start with a very light base for the first color, which is Samesi Desert. Also, this color is a layer paint and not actually a base paint, and it can be hard to cover even in white, so I think I gave it a couple coats. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you don't have full opacity, because we're going to still uh, layer over it, and we're going to use a wash. And we don't really want this color because it's a little bit too dark for what the color of the coat we want at the end. Next, I'm going to use Rhinox Hide, and with this color, I'm going to base coat all of the gloves the boots, the mask, and all of the other places that are going to be leather, such as the belts around the uniform. Make sure not to paint over uh, the desert yellow colors of the uh, uniform uh, with this color because it's very overpowering and you'll need uh, at least a couple coats of the Samasi Desert to clean it up. So uh, just make sure to be neat and clean. Next I'm going to use Lead Belcher. And with this color, I'm going to base coat all of the places that are going to be silver. As I've said before, make sure to not use any color straight from the pot. Make sure to thin them down with a little bit of water. Or sometimes you can use uh, thinning mediums uh, such as lamian medium or uh, drying retarders if you want your paint to last wet for longer. Uh, just to make sure that you apply thin layers and that you stretch the paint uh, thin enough uh, around places where it might pool or something like that. I'm using uh, Vallejo model color black to base coat the, the helmet and all of the places that you want to be black. There's not too many, there's only the case for the bolter and the uh, helmet on this particular model. Oh, also the handle for the sword, I forgot. Next with Agrax Earthshade, I'm going to give the whole model a uh, wash. Just be very careful not to let it pull around the uniform too much. Make sure to, that it gets into all of the crevices. Uh, but you don't really want any pulls on the uniform because you're going to uh, start layering uh, bone colors on top of the Samasi Desert. And you want a very bright uh, highlight. And over pools of brown is going to be very hard to do. So Next Samasi Desert and Ushapti Bone, I'm going to mix them up in a 50-50 mix, uh, equal parts in other words. And I'm going to start picking up all of the raised parts on this um, uniform, trying to leave a little bit of the places that are uh, like implied by the wash that are in shadow and most of the recesses. For the most part, this is an all over cleanup for the uniform, just leaving a little bit of the shade, shaded color behind. We don't want this miniature to end up looking yellow. We want it to look a little bit more desertly uh, bone color -y. a little bit of yellow, but not too much. I'm giving it a second coat in this uh, clip. Uh, I came back and I started to apply a second coat. Don't worry if the first coat doesn't cover too well, it's gonna be patchy, that's normal. Uh, make sure to give it a second or even third coat if you feel like, you, like it needs it. And um, make sure to use thin down paint and uh, build up the color little by little. Don't worry about the patchiness. Let it dry and give it another coat. Here I'm doing the same thing, but I'm doing two parts Ushapti Bone and one part Samesi Desert. And I'm giving it another highlight. And this one is going to focus a little bit more on the raised parts. Almost all of the area again, just leaving a little bit of the uh, previous mix showing and uh, starting to make a transition towards the highlight areas and kind of getting rid of that very yellow color that the Samesi Desert has. Next, with straight Ushapti Bone, I'm going to use this color in uh, 
the brightest parts of the uniform, still trying to make a little transition of color, uh, not worrying too much to be very uh, fine in our highlights because we're going to come back and give it a last highlight with Screaming Skull. And this is the last one, this is Screaming Skull. And with this color I'm going to very finely get all of the edges of the uniform and all of the very edge parts uh, around the shadows just to imply this uh, very bright highlight. And this way we have a transition from Samesi Desert, uh, darken it down by Agrax Urchid, uh, Samesi Desert, all the way to Screaming Skull. And I think it looks pretty good. Once we're done with that, we finished with the uniform. We're going to highlight the other areas with Gorther Brown. I'm going to start highlighting the leather areas. And this is just uh, applying it on the most raised parts and the places that are more reflective on the boots. When you hold your miniature under the light, you'll see some reflections on, on the boots and on the leather parts. Uh, if you're not too sure where are the edges or if it has any uh, edges to highlight, uh, try to uh, hold it below the, the light and try to highlight those places that you see that, reflects the most, that reflect the most light. Next, I'm going to do the same thing with Baneblade Brown, but covering a smaller area this time. The most brightest places and the sharpest edges on these areas. For most of these steps, I used a fine detail brush, even for layering on the uniform, because some parts are very small and I was using thin paint so it's no problem. I wanted to uh, take it easy and be careful when I was applying the paint. Uh, you can use any size brush that you feel comfortable with, but um, a, a small detail brush, it's a pretty good idea. With Ash and Gray, I'm going to uh, edge highlight all of the black uh, places on the armor, which is just the helmet and the casing for the bolter and the grip of the sword. Next, with Dawnstone, I'm going to uh, give it a final highlight to the blacks, just uh, trying to pick up all of the sharpest edges on the black and give them a very high, um, extreme highlight to these areas. Just to the, on the very corners though, don't use it too much. Once that's done, I'm going to use Runefang Steel and I'm going to start highlighting the uh, metal or the silver. And for this, it's just an edge highlight real quick. Uh, try to uh, get the most uh, sharpest parts of all of the metallic areas. I'm leaving a little bit of the Agrax air shade uh, showing so that it looks uh, like dirty and uh, military worn out. I must point out that the sword didn't get much of the Agrax Earthshade when I did the wash, only the base of the sword. There's no point on shading the whole sword when there's no detail for the wash to catch. I just did the, the base and the rest is just, is just straight uh, lead belcher and then the edges with um, the runefang steel. There I used uh, Celestra Grey to base coat the logo of the Steel Legion on the shoulder. And followed by Mephiston Red, I'm going to cover uh, the lightning bolt kind of figure shape on the logo. Once you get those colors down, I'm going to use Agrax Airshade again with a fine detail brush and trying to get all of the edges on that logo real quick. It doesn't matter if it just ends up looking a little uh, dirty or weird. Uh, we just want a little bit of a shadow uh, to give it a little bit of depth to the symbol. With white, Vallejo model color white, I'm going to pick up the white again, uh, leaving a little bit of the shade behind so that it separates the red from the white. And finally, I'm going to use Evil Sun Scarlet. And with this color, I'm just going to uh, highlight the lightning bolt shape again real quick. And that's it. And this is the finished model. I have to say I'm very happy with the way it turned out. It looks pretty cool, very historical, and uh, I think it looks uh, very cool for a force of a Steel Legion Astra Militarum Imperial Guard Regiment. The only kind of difficult part of this tutorial is to get the coat right, uh, because you have to be a little patient and give it some uh, uh, 
coats initially to get the color uh, highlight going uh, it's gonna be a little bit patchy don't don't worry about that just uh, let it dry and give it a second coat once you give it the first one and build up the color until you get to the screaming skull and it turns out uh, at the end looking pretty good in my opinion so that's it thank you very much for watching i hope you found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did like it please like it comment and subscribe to the channel to see more videos that really helps me out and puts my channel up there so that more people can reach it and uh, subscribe and so that i can produce more videos and thank you very much for supporting what i do i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next video you stayed great Thank you very much for supporting my channel and if you would like to become a patron there is a link to my patreon page in the description below your contributions help pay for my work and keeps the channel going a single dollar a month is more than enough and you can cancel it at any time if you can't don't worry you can support my channel by simply watching my videos and sharing them with your friends thank you for watching have a great day and i'll see you on the next one